Hey guys, Anon Killer here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make an Android APK uh, interpreter session in which you can use like a rat, just like the reverse TCP for Windows. Now, most of the time, you won't be able to um, install the APK due to the certificate issues. Well, I'm going to show you also how to fix that. I'll leave a uh, link to the uh, the JARs that you need to create the certificate for the APK. First, we're going to open up a uh, Metasploit framework console, or we can just do this with MSF Venom. You understand how it works if you watched my other videos, so we're just going to go ahead and do the MSF Venom. Now that I've created the payload, what we're going to do is that we will now um, bring the APK to the folder in which has the JARs. Now we're going to use the terminal to uh, make the certificate work. So first we're going to cd into it. Now I'll run the script. Watch as I type the script and you'll know what to do. I'll copy and paste the script to uh, the description. I set the output as hack2.apk. Now we're going to open the MSF console to get a connection. As you open up your Metasploit console, you're going to have to open up a handler. I almost forgot the command for a minute. That was stupid of me. Brain fart. Alright, once you open up the handler, you're going to want to use the same payload as you did to create the, uh, the Android APK. Make sure to set your L host and uh, and your uh, L port to the exact same as you have it. So most likely it's going to be this. If not, it's because I forgot to put it in the uh, Metasploit payload. But we'll go ahead and finish this up. They'll host will be different for you depending on what you're using. Network will always be different. Now we're going to exploit it.
Now I already have the uh, the payload on my Android, so we're just going to go ahead and run that. Should give a connection. All right, now we got a connection, as you can see here. Now there are many things you can do if you check the help by typing help. You can check to see if the device is rootus, and that's what we're going to do first to show you how it works and how it can work against anything on the network. You can use it on an external IP and do it to anybody that you know. Just don't get in trouble. <laughs> get their permission first. You can see my device is rooted, and the command did go through. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you like this video. I do it for fun. Uh, there'll be more videos soon. I just got to figure out things to do. Thank you.